So why did I choose Vassar, a small liberal arts college in the middle of nowhere? So hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video I'm going to be talking about the reasons why I chose Vassar and perhaps maybe some of the reasons why you should consider Vassar or the reasons that you shouldn't consider Vassar depending on your personality. So the predominant reason that I was interested in Vassar was the fact that there was no core curriculum. This was really similar to my dream school. Um, <clears throat> perhaps you know which one I'm talking about, perhaps not. But um, the fact that they had no core curriculum was really appealing to me because I didn't necessarily know what I wanted to do and I didn't want to waste my credits on things that wouldn't necessarily help me with what I wanted to do. Looking back, I understand kind of where the core curriculum comes in and how that might have helped me. But at the same time, I think it's really awesome that I had the opportunity to kind of pick and choose what I wanted to take to kind of explore different departments of my own choosing. Um, I kind of wish that I had given the core a little bit more consideration because some core curriculums are a little bit more free in that you can choose which kinds of courses you want to take in certain like requirements. So, so if there's like a social science requirement, you could take any social science course, um, something like that. So I wish I had given a little bit more thought into general core curriculums um, that were a little bit more liberal, but Vassar doesn't have any core curriculum at all. The only requirements that it has are a first year writing seminar, um, which is offered by pretty much every single um, academic department and you can take pretty much anything that you want. There's also some really cool ones offered. So the one I took was about plagues in history. Um, that was during like the first year of the pandemic. So it was very relevant. And I thought it was really interesting because we looked at like bubonic plague texts and how they were dealing with um, the plague in that era and how things are the same or different. There's also classes on like volcanology and um, archaeology. I don't know, there's like really cool ones out there. Um, so you have a lot of flexibility with that. The second requirement is a language requirement. So you can, if you took a language in high school and you had AP credit, you can just use that. Um, I elected to take German, so I did that for a year and that fulfilled my requirement. The language departments here are actually pretty cool, so you can take like different cultural classes um, in different disciplines, so like music and art, um, culture in that language, and then you can also... The beginner classes are structured in such a way that you learn through stories and you learn through, um, in my German class, what was called Kinderbuch, so you learn through childhood stories. And um, at the end of the class um, for German, you um, basically wrote your own children's story and you presented it to a local German school um, for children, which was really cool. Um, that was obviously over Zoom because of the pandemic, but it was still really cool and the kids came up and they asked questions and um, yeah, it was a really fun experience. And then the third requirement um, is just a quantitative requirement. So. That could be anything from like oceanography to statistics. There are like earth science classes that can fulfill that as well. Um, any type of math class, obviously. Any type of physics class, um, data class, computer science, um, research methods, things like that. So I really wanted to be able to explore what it was that I wanted to explore without having to be tied down to a core curriculum that would prevent me from exploring everything that I wanted to to its full capacity. At the end of like my college search when I was choosing colleges I was very much between Vassar and Fordham and the reason that I decided not to go with Fordham was because of how strict their core curriculum was and I actually got into the Honors College um, which I think had its own like core curriculum as well so ultimately like there were just so many requirements in that core curriculum and I can probably pull them up and show you but um it was very different from Vassar and I knew that if I went to Fordham like I wouldn't have the full opportunity to explore exactly what I wanted to explore and to figure out what it was that I wanted to do um because you know your major has requirements in addition to the fact that 
you have those core requirements and so your room for electives is very very small um but at Vassar basically pretty much everything is an elective and each major only takes about like 11 like 10 to 12 credits um and each class is one credit so that would be like 10 to 12 classes and that leaves a lot of room for exploration because that means you have 32 credits to complete by the time that you graduate so you essentially have like 20 credits that are electives that you could take but i think that's really cool because it also allows you to learn new skills that build on your major or that like give you another perspective on approaching problems so for example like I've taken like hard science classes and I've also taken social science classes and it's interesting to see like how each discipline approaches scenarios very differently and it allows me to like integrate how um, different fields look at scenarios to kind of have a more broad perspective and I think that's something that the liberal arts education is really good at is um, giving you different perspectives to look at scenarios and allowing you to approach problems from a multidisciplinary perspective whereas someone who went to like a tech school would only be able to look at something with like a very one-dimensional lens which is you know what they went to school for but someone with a liberal arts education would kind of have those like different backgrounds to look from which is also something that I recommend looking into if you don't end up going to a liberal arts college is looking at the like whatever program you're interested in if it is very like one dimensional or if it incorporates like courses from different departments I think that's something that's really important in education is getting that different like those different perspectives another reason that I chose Vassar was the fact that it has an ecological preserve so it has like I don't even know how many acres I think it's like 300 or something I can double check that but it has a very very large preserve and on this preserve they do research and they also have like an ecological farm they also have an environmental research institute which I don't know too much about but I do know that they um this is like something that the environmental program has where you can basically help with a project so they did um like stream health analysis on one of the creeks and they also do a Blanding's turtle um, analysis where I think they track the turtles which is really cool I kind of want to do that myself so when I was looking at colleges I was primarily focused on like environmental things and political things so like environmental policy environmental conservation that kind of stuff um, things that I'm still interested in honestly and um, the fact that they had a preserve like right on campus was really really attractive to me and I really wanted to do research there and I thought it would be a great opportunity for hands-on research. In reality though the farm and like the preserve are kind of far from campus like it's not like very far but it is like a little bit of a walk and it's not as easy to do research as I thought which again, this might just be how I went about it, but I um, tried to apply for like a job there and um, it didn't work out. I am work for, working for the sustainability office now and a lot of the jobs there are just focused on like education programs for the local school, which is great, but that's not really what I was interested in. Um, so in reality, it's been harder to get involved with that and it's still something that I'm struggling with now um, as a sophomore. Also, the preserve is kind of like, I haven't even seen the whole thing because um, in order to see it, it's like, like I said, it's very far. So I have not walked on it, but um, the parts that I have seen, um, it's a little bit like dilapidated. So um, yeah, like it's not necessarily what I thought it would be. And so I definitely recommend like reaching out to students and reaching out to faculty and seeing what the opportunities actually are for students who are interested in like ecological research and things like that. And that just goes with any school and any program that you're interested in, like reach out to students and see what they're actually saying and what they think of the program. The third reason that I chose Vassar was its small student to faculty ratio. And um, so Vassar has a student to faculty ratio of eight to one, which is very small. And 
I really wanted to develop relationships with my professors because that was something that was like really important to me. I, you know, I'm paying all that money and I want to connect with the professors. I want to learn from them. And any time that I've had like a really amazing class in high school, I, I developed like a really good relationship with the teacher. And so that was something that was like really important to my education was feeling connected to the professor and um, it just allowed me to like learn more and be more engaged. The Vassar faculty are definitely like more accessible than probably other faculty. They always have open office hours and they um, are always willing to talk with you and in fact a lot of them make it mandatory to meet with them just because they want to get to know you. So that's been something that's good. Um, a lot of my classes have actually been I want to say probably around 20 students um, and then I did take an intro bio class in which I was um, in which there were about like 90 kids which is probably one of the largest classes at Vassar um, but even still like the professor still knew my name and I was still able to make meaningful connections with the professors not as much as like you know I would have hoped but um, like I didn't feel lost and yeah, I kind of had this idea that all the classes would be like super small, but that's definitely not the case. Um, all my classes are probably high school sized and except the bio class. Yeah, I mean, as I move up the ranks, maybe they'll get smaller, um, but so far that is my experience. And kind of related to that, another reason that I chose Vassar was the small student body. So there are about 2,435 students. Um, I got this number from the 2020 to 2021 data. And so I thought this was really good because it had that community feel and I would be able to make connections with people, recognize them on campus. And um, I didn't want to be part of like a very large campus, like a city kind of feel because I knew that I would probably get lost. And I don't know, I just wanted that community um, feel. I wanted that like school spirit. What I realize now is that being in a large school might afford you some benefits because there are more connections to be made and more people will go to clubs and there'll be more people at events and there'll be more events in general. Um, school spirit also tends to be higher in those bigger schools just because there's more students and there's probably bigger sports teams. I don't know, I feel like the fact that I chose a small school, um, it's not that I in necessarily regret it but I do wish that I had given consideration to some bigger schools as well like Northeastern was a school that I was considering at the end and you know they have a very large student body and I just felt like I would be part of a city and um I don't know looking back maybe that's not such a bad thing because there's a lot more opportunity to be had in that circumstance and um I mean, it's nice to recognize people, but I feel like at Vassar, like, there isn't a lot of engagement with clubs and friend groups tend to be based around sports and outside of that it is quite hard to make friends and yeah, I think that's just something that comes with being at a small school. Um, I don't know, there's pros and cons to both, so it ultimately just depends on your personality and what you want out of a school. Um, I can make another video talking about the pros and cons if that's something that you would like, but for now I will leave it at that. Another really important reason that I chose Vassar was the fact that there were no graduate students. Um, like there are absolutely zero graduate students at Vassar, and so what this means is that undergraduate students have free reign over all of the research opportunities and undergraduate students are able to make more meaningful connections with their professors. Um, it also means that the professors are more focused on teaching rather than research because what you see at a lot of institutions is professors who really just want to do research and you know they recruit their graduate students and they do research and they're not really they don't really want to teach and so you end up getting those professors who are less focused on teaching and aren't the best teachers um, but at Vassar you have faculty that are pretty much all dedicated to teaching um, as well as the research, but they um, are more focused on the teaching aspect because of the fact that there are no graduate students. It also means that you don't have any TAs, 
in some classes like biology you might have like a discussion section that's led by a junior or senior but for the most part like all the classes are driven by the faculty. Another reason that I chose Vassar, um, you know, I will say was because of the ranking. You know, I worked hard in high school and I wanted to go to a school that would reflect that and I wanted to go to a school in which my peers also worked very hard and I wanted to be part of a community that valued education and had initiative. So for example, the acceptance rate for the class of 2025 was 19% for Vassar, which is pretty, um, pretty competitive. You know, it's not Ivy League competitive, but it's um, relatively selective. Vassar is ranked like within the top 20 universities in New York. Um, I think it was ranked like number nine in one of the polls that I was looking at. In the US News and World Report, it was ranked number 22 for liberal arts colleges in the country. A lot of employers do know Vassar um, for being um, for having a very strong work ethic. The alumni network is also very strong, so a lot of the alumni are willing to talk with you and um, and a lot of people actually do get jobs from alumni. So the Vassar name um, does definitely help you get jobs and um, is recognized in the business world. And the fact that it's a liberal arts college I think also lends it um, credibility in the job market because employers want um, people who are diverse and they want people who have different perspectives and they don't just want someone who is, you know, one dimensional. Um, they want someone who can contribute to a project in diverse ways that someone else couldn't. And I think a liberal arts education definitely affords you that. And what I've heard from a lot of alumni is that the liberal arts education, especially Vassar's education, um, with its focus on writing, is really important and lends you a lot of opportunities because employers will recognize the fact that Vassar is known for its strong writing. Also, Vassar is very suburban, so it I chose Vassar because it wasn't like in the middle of a farm um, in a rural place. Like um, I, I was looking at one college and like, I think it was Idaho or Iowa and it was kind of in the middle of nowhere, like cornfields all around and um, I remember reading reviews that were like you're pretty isolated here and I didn't necessarily want that kind of experience um, but at the same time I didn't want to go to a place like NYU where it was like in the heart of a city because I wanted that intimate campus feel like I said. Again looking back I kind of wish I had looked at looked more closely at schools in like um, maybe DC or Boston, like I don't think that would have necessarily contributed to less of a campus feel, but I do think it would have contributed to a nice college town. Um, and so that's just something that I wish I would have looked into a little bit more. So Vassar itself is in Poughkeepsie. It is, it has like a small college town. It's like college town. It has um, a street that it's on and it has like, um, like a market and um, a dollar store, um, some restaurants, and then if you go down and then you go like the other way, there are more restaurants and um, a church. So I mean, it, it's a nice like little area. I don't know if I'd call it a college town, but it is, um, there are things nearby. If you need something, you can get something. Um, I do like Instacart, so I um, there's like a stop and shop not too far away. Yeah, I wouldn't call it like um, a great college town. It's not like there are things that much to do. Um, unless you have a car, then you can um, obviously, there are things to do. Like there's a bowling alley um, and a movie theater and it's not too far from the city of Poughkeepsie. So when I say city, I don't mean like New York City, like, but there is like a city and um, it has, some restaurants and like movie theater. I personally don't really go to the city because I don't have a car, but um, it's not too far from campus. It's like, it's pretty close. Also, um, it's right near the railroad. So I'm able to just take the railroad home um, if I want to. The final reason that I chose Vassar, and this is something that I really do not recommend that you use in your college search, in your college decision process. Um, but it was a new student's chat. And so um, I joined like 
group me or whatever and um, there was like a new students chat and everyone was so active and they were talking and there was um, people made PowerPoint slides about themselves and people were like super into talking with each other and they were funny <laughs> and witty and I really liked that. The reason I say not to go based on that is because they probably like a month into your first semester like the chat will completely die like no one will use it and you're not gonna make f really like be friends with those people anyway so I do not recommend using that as a proxy but I thought that because I was in this group chat I was already part of the community and so I needed to enroll definitely not the right move to make and um, I you know being one name in a group chat is not a reason to go to a school. You know, all of these schools have probably like really funny group chats with the new students and they probably all die within a month, if I had to guess. And there are so many apps where you can like talk to college students as well, like from other school communities and they all have that same vibe. Also the Facebook groups um, where people introduce themselves, like all colleges have that and they're all probably the same. So don't feel like you're tied to one college because it has a really awesome Facebook group or a really awesome like WhatsApp chat. Like they're all probably the same and it will die. Vassar is a place to go if you want to have a multidisciplinary perspective on something. If you want to approach a problem from multiple different lenses and just be more worldly and um, I feel like by going to a liberal arts college, I'm able to contribute more than if I went to a, a different type of school because I'm able to have so many different perspectives and um, I'm able to really have an open mind and have a um, and have just a different critical way of looking at things than someone who did not go to a liberal arts college. I think I could do another video on like someone who should and shouldn't go to Vassar if that is something that you would like. But for now, I am going to wrap it up here. If you have any questions about Vassar, be sure to leave them below. If you have any suggestions for future ideas or anything that you want to know about Vassar, then also be sure to comment below. Um, please like and subscribe for more videos like this one. And if you're interested in learning more about Vassar and my college decision process, I will link playlist in one of these corners and you can check that out. Um, I will also leave a video on the screen somewhere about my first day at Vassar so you can check that out as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.